This installation guide is for a Nissan Rogue. The part installed in this video is a Kurt model number 13204 hitch. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. What's up everyone? The Nissan Rogue can take you to some pretty fun places like camping, trail bike riding, surfing, skiing, and move your family across the country using a U-Haul trailer. So let's go ahead and break down this uh, hitch and install. Okay, you can see that we have a two inch receiver. It's got the tow hooks, a cross tube, frame attachment on the passenger side, and a frame attachment on the driver side. We're gonna have five attachment points, two on the passenger side and three on the driver's side. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle and see uh, all the attachment points underneath and see what we need to get, move out of the way to get this hitch put on. Okay, so on some Nissan Rogues, you're gonna have a paneling covering your frame here and over here on the driver's side. Um, this vehicle does not, but if you do have the paneling, you simply remove it, take it down, and put it back up once the hitch is installed. Um, next step we want to look at is the hitch is going to be replacing the tow hook here. Um, so to take this out, we're going to be removing two bolts up here, two bolts on the side of the frame, and then the hitch will bolt right in where we took the uh, two bolts out for the tow hook. And then on the driver's side here, We've got three weld nuts on the frame. The hardware is gonna go right up inside. And to make the hitch install a little bit easier, we're gonna go ahead and lower the exhaust. To do that, we need to remove three rubber exhaust hangers. One on the driver's side, one on the passenger side here, and one down the center. And before, before you go touching the exhaust, make, make sure that it's cooled down so you don't burn yourself. Okay, we're, we're good. We're going to go ahead and lower it down. I'm, I'm going to use a strap to support the exhaust so we're not damaging um, any portion of the exhaust as it's coming down. Okay, so in supporting the vehicle's exhaust, you want to find a good solid place to run your straps around or, or rope or whatever you're going to be using to support it. Um, I did find a nice cross member right here. Um, it's pretty solid and it's gonna it's gonna do what we need it to do for this vehicle. Okay, that'll work right there. So now that we have the exhaust supported, we're gonna go ahead and remove the driver's side rubber exhaust hanger bracket first and I'm spraying it with some soapy water to make it a little bit easier for it to come off the exhaust rod. When you're taking these off the exhaust rods, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can use some ex exhaust pliers. Um, you can use a pry bar or screwdriver, or, or a lot of times you can just pull it right off with your hands. Today I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna be using exhaust pliers. We don't need to take it off of both rods, just one of them. Okay, now we're moving over to this center rubber exhaust hanger. And again, I'm gonna spray it with some soapy water just to make it a little bit easier. And I'll be using exhaust pliers to pull it out. Now we're moving over to the passenger side, the last rubber hanger. Okay, now that we have the exhaust lowered, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bottom bolts first using an 18 millimeter socket. Okay, now that we have the bottom frame attachment bolts out, we're gonna go ahead and take off the last two um, bolts holding this tow hook in that are up on the side of the frame here. Okay, now that we have that last bolt taken out, it just comes right out. Okay, now that the uh, tow hook is out, we can see our attachment points for the hitch are gonna be this weld nut in the frame and this weld nut in the frame. We will not be using the two 
weld nuts that came out of the side of the frame. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put the hitch up to the frame and it can get a little awkward for you. So we're gonna get a set of hands to help us out here. And we will also be using the hardware that's provided by the hitch manufacturer to go up and hold this hitch. And, and once we get the hitch into place, we're gonna go ahead and just secure it, uh, just one bolt on each side. Okay, that's supported on the passenger side. We'll do the same thing on the driver's side. Okay, hitch is supported. We can go ahead and put the rest of the remaining three bolts in, one on the passenger side and two more on the driver's side. Get them snugged up and then torqued down. Okay, now that we have the bolts snugged up to the hitch and the frame, we're gonna go ahead and uh, torque them down using a torque wrench. And the manufacturer of the hitch is asking for 86 foot pounds. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the driver's side. And now that the bolts are all torqued down, we can go ahead and raise the exhaust back into position. Um, we did see one snag that we're gonna run into here is that the exhaust rod here on the driver's side is nearly right up against the hitch here. So getting the exhaust rubber hanger bracket up there is gonna be a little bit tight. I'm gonna take it off, the, take the exhaust hanger bracket off this lower portion and just kind of squeeze it up there. So we water spray on it here. Now we can raise the muffler up. Okay, now we're gonna go and put the center rubber exhaust hanger back on the exhaust rod here. I'm just gonna raise up with my shoulder on the exhaust tailpipe here to help me get it up into place. That one goes on nice and easy. Okay, now we're over at the passenger side. Bring the rubber exhaust hanger back into place on the exhaust rod and that'll do it for our the exhaust back in, we'll take our strap out. Wow, this hitch came out really nice. You can see that the cross tube is well hidden. Um, the only thing that you can really see is the two inch receiver portion here. Um, we've got our tow loops here. And we have a five eight inch pin and clip hole that'll hold any of our hitch and towing accessories. This two inch receiver hitch is going to be rated at 3,500 pounds gross trailer weight and 525 pounds tongue weight. Now, tongue weight is going to be unsupported weight like a bike rack or a cargo carrier um, and that's right here in, in the, your load zone. Anything that moves out further past that will start to reduce your tongue weight capacity. And that'll do it for our hitch for our Nissan Rogue. Once installed, this hitch will measure 14 inches from the inside of the receiver to the ground, five inches from the pinhole to the end of the bumper, and two and a half inches from the end of the receiver to the bumper. To learn more about the products seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.